Hi, this is Gus Lanzalotta at Profile Racing, and today we're going to cover driver maintenance. All right, we're going to do this tech video with a mini style driver, and the elite drivers, same scenario, same working way, pull the bolt out, take the cone off, slide the driver out, and this is what you'll find. It is a little dirty, grease emitting from the bearings, things like that. So what we want to do is we want to clean this up to make sure that the hub runs perfect every time. If you have a 14 mil axle, basically what you'll have here is you'll have the driver with the 14 mil axle. There'll be a jam nut <clears throat> on the one side, screw off the jam nut, and then your driver will slide back out like this again. Keep in mind that there is a spacer if you guys can see that on the video that spacer that's in there a lot of times it will stick to the bottom of the driver and you when you pull your driver out you set it down and the spacer stays on the rag when you go to put it back on you don't realize that it's there so keep in mind that that spacer here has to come out so here's the spacer that needs to go back into the hub after you're done doing your maintenance. A lot of times it'll stick to the bottom of the driver and then you don't realize it and you put the driver back on and it's still there. And then the hub will lock up a little bit. It'll be hard to pedal, things like that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and clean this out. We're gonna clean the driver and uh, we're gonna get this thing ready to go again. All right, so first thing I like to do is put a little bit of tri-flow on a rag. And you can use whatever oil that you prefer. But, and then I just kind of rub them around a little bit, clean them off as the best I can. Make sure we get them nice and clean like that. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of residual oil on it, which is okay. Same thing with the springs. Just kind of rub them around a little bit, just kind of get the crud off of them. All right, now that we're done cleaning the springs and falls, what we'll do is we'll Clean the driver off the best you can. Uh, a lot of times you can get an old toothbrush, which is, works really nice, and you kind of put a little bit of oil on that and scrub it out. Um, here we're going to use the rag. We're going to clean it up the best we can. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to clean the hub out. So just grab a rag and you kind of just wipe it in there. Um, I wouldn't use any brake cleaner, anything like that, because it will remove the anodizing. So it's good just to kind of wipe out all the stuff that's in there, kind of get it as clean as you can first. And then what I like to do is I'll grab a little bit of clear oil, like TriFlow, and I'll put some on the rag. Something like that. And that helps break down some of the other stuff that's in there. And it'll also coat it and give it a nice little lubrication so you just kind of clean it around like that and you'll see how nice and clean it'll come out all right so now we're ready to reassemble the hub so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of tri flow again you can use pretty much whatever you want just on the paw pockets like this. You don't need a whole bunch, just a couple little drops. And that's it. And then, don't forget the old, very important spacer here. That has got to go back in. Put that in there. And I'm just gonna pick up this wheel, put the driver on. Insert it, 
Cullen goes back on. And then your bolt. So the one important thing that we all have to remember is never to put grease in the profile hub. No white lithium grease, no wheel bearing grease, no tacky grease at all. Just some clear lube is all you need for the hub itself. So again, Gus at Profile Racing, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.